Prince Andrew was photographed driving away from the Queen's Balmoral estate this morning and he is believed to be traveling back to England. His return will give him the chance to finally meet his first granddaughter, Princess Beatrice's baby, in person. Take a look at Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Learn all about the secretive personal lives and history of the royal family as you've never seen them before in Amazon's best-selling Royal Historical Biographies This box contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more, top deals, you deal brought to you by Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi became parents of a baby girl on September 18, as announced last week by Buckingham Palace. The palace's statement read, Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi are delighted to announce the safe arrival of their daughter on Saturday September 18, 01, at 11. 4 p.m., at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, London. The baby weighs 6 pounds and 2 ounces. The new baby's grandparents and great-grandparents have all been informed and are delighted with the new. The family would like to thank all the staff at the hospital for their wonderful care. Her Royal Highness and her child are both doing well, and the couple are looking forward to introducing their daughter to her big brother Christopher Wall. The announcement was followed a few hours later by a sweet note shared on Instagram by Beatrice's beloved sister, Princess Eugenie, sharing a picture of Beatrice and Eduardo on holidays, Eugenie, who became mother of her first first son August Philip Hawk on February 9th penned two brief messages. The first, dedicated to the new parents, read, to my dearest Bibi and Edo congratulations on your new angel. I can't wait to meet her and am so proud of you. We're going to have so much fun watching our children grow up. The second addressed directly Eugenie's newborn niece and read, to my new niece I love you already and think you're just awesome from the photos. We're going to have so much fun together. After visiting the Queen at Balmoral in August for a traditional summer break, Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson traveled back to the Sovereign's Scottish residence earlier this month. But the Duchess of York has already had the chance to meet her granddaughter, whose name is yet to be announced, as she had returned to England on the day before the birth of the youngest royal babe. On the other hand, Prince Andrew had remained north of the board. The Sun reported the Duke of York left Balmoral at approximately 10 a.m. this morning. He was photographed smiling and waving to Passesby while behind the wheel. Prince Andrew's sighting comes after his legal team officially conceded the Duke has been served with a lawsuit by Virginia Giffray. In her lawsuit, Ms. Giffray claims to have been sexually assaulted by the Prince at three different locations. Her case claims the Duke engaged in sexual acts without Ms. Giffray's consent including when she was 17, knowing how old she was at the time and that she was a sex trafficking victim. Andrew has consistently and strongly denied the allegation. During his interview with Newsnight's Emily Maitlis in November 019, Prince Andrew said he had no recollection of meeting Ms. Giffray. Asked about whether, as alleged by Ms. Giffray, he had dined with her, danced at Tramp and had sex with her at a home in London Belgravia, Andrew also said, I can absolutely categorically tell you it never happened.